Hi everybody, this is Alan Yandir speaking to you from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Maintal, Germany. Today with a very nice classic Les Paul, a 1969 Les Paul Custom. Well, this is the, uh, those are were like the best years of the Les Paul Custom. They, uh, uh, they still have one piece bodies, I mean like a, a, a maple top, or oh, is this all mahogany? Yeah. A maple top, one piece body, and they have very comfortable comparably thin necks but but they're very nice to play and um what some of my favorite guitarists around this period have played les paul customs for instance uh, the early john mclaughlin with the Mahavishnu orchestra or bill Connors, the great chicoria guitarist they all played customs because for because uh, custom have customs have a more transparent a little more neutral sound than your Les Paul standard and they usually cut through uh, you know bands a little better than standards. Standards are great if you're you know in a trio or something and you have a lot of space but cu customs are very good with keyboards and so on because they have a very tight and defined sound and for instance Mick Jones with Foreigner uh, is a, a name to uh, that uh, he uh, recorded some of the really great Les Paul custom crunch sounds uh, unsurpassed up to this day and so customs are you know you could play jazz with them uh, uh, because it's it's a very because of the ebony fingerboard it's a very clear clean sound and the the middle position is a, is a is a very fine funk position And and the uh, uh, bridge pickup, bridge pickup even has some kind of twang, but it's it's a nice, it's a pleasant twang, and it works well when we when you distort this guitar. And the guitar itself is not as has heavy as some of the later uh, Les Paul customs. It's completely comfortable to play that. So it's a great classic instrument, and it and it, it stands on its own against the classic standards. It's a 1969 Les Paul Custom, and this is Alain Neander from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Maintal, Germany. Bye-bye.